so now that it's farmer's market season, we got produce, um, you know, coming in. We got some asparagus here, beet, and uh, some rhubarb. Okay, so this is what I'm going to be juicing. I already have celery juice made, um, but I need to be adding this to my celery juice. We'll see how I get. What I'm going to do is I'm going to chop off. Uh, Ajana said he said to to eat. And the asparagus is good for brain boosting your brain function. So basically you want to eat like this. You cut that off. You can eat that. I'm going to eat that after my meat meal tonight. Maybe a little olive oil on there and lemon. A little salad action. And then we're going to juice the stalks. So I'm going to cut those, juice the stalks, the beet, the rhubarb. Yep. And these are some strawberries. Strawberries actually have like too much sugar, but you know what life's short. So Yeah, so as you can see here um, We have the stock and then the tips And now the tips are just snapped off and that's really the only part you should eat is like what snaps off So it's about the top two inches or so Snap those off and then you can eat those and you juice these so obviously you don't want to drink just asparagus juice. We're gonna add that to the celery juice. Rhubarb is not fun to juice. Um, it gets really like goopy and slimy, and the juice gets really frothy, as you can see. I don't know what kind of reaction was happening here, but the, there was like some goopy foam. It was kind of like an egg white texture. Um, I was straining some of it through the cheesecloth, but then the cheesecloth became completely clogged. So I decided to scoop out the top layer of goopy foam and throw it away and just keep the juice. Um, so yeah, I did that. I don't know if it was the asparagus and the rhubarb or what caused that, but anyway, that happened. So I shook it up and as you can see the foam isn't like as goopy as it was. It's a little frothy though. I did put in two teaspoons of lemon juice in here so maybe that will help with reducing the coagulation. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, smells pretty good. I did put in three carrots into this by the way because I'm going to be working outside so I need the energy. So we'll see. Uh, we'll see what this juice is like. I gave it a quick taste and uh, it's not the most pleasant but uh you know i can taste the asparagus and the rhubarb more than anything and there's a slight bit of sweetness from the beet and the carrot more so the beet than the carrot which is surprising because usually the carrot's really sweet but i don't taste the lemon either i put a little honey in here and see how that tastes so it didn't really <clears throat> what i decided to do actually was add pineapple instead of a. Uh, pineapple instead of uh, honey and then I actually kind of balance the taste a little bit more the juice hardly tastes like anything now the earthiness of the beet is coming through the most and there's like a hint of pineapple but it's not sweet at all and a slight hint of the asparagus too um, don't really taste the rhubarb anymore I don't know if the goop was all the rhubarb but I think my issue was the juicer started clogging up because of the rhubarb and the foam and I was using a fine mesh filter on this thing which I always use uh, but maybe that wasn't the best case for this the rhubarb so you know if you're using a better juicer it probably shouldn't be an issue for you but uh, yeah um, so yeah the juice tastes okay we'll see if the um, asparagus uh, is, is works what that's like for the brain and you know, it's just a vegetable. I don't I want it. it was free, so I want to make use of it. So that's that's just all about I have now for the juicing.